uh, Mondays, am I right? a very impromptu take a walk with me out in the rain. Actually, these glasses might be hindering me at this point. So here's the deal. Oh, I'm Michiwi. I'm on a weight loss journey. Hello. So here's what happened. This morning, I filmed an intro. Wasn't really happy with it, uh, partly because I had focusing issues. Why are you doing that? Another is because of a bad decision to wear purple lipstick. Uh, also, I think I, I think I hate this lipstick. <laughs> Also, it just, it just seemed very low energy. So I came back later and I filmed another one and it was basically me just saying, oh, I'm so tired. This weather has got me dreary. The dogs don't want to go on their walk. The cat doesn't want to play. I have chores I don't want to do because I'm tired. And then I went on to explain, hey, you yeah, know, some days you're just tired. I, I was very lucky in the fact that I wasn't in a bad mood about it. I'm still very positive. I still was like, I'm gonna get these things done. But in all fairness, I was I was feeling very tired and just like, oh, I'll take a nap, I'll sleep the day away. I might be exhausted, I might need that, which is fine, except I recognized that that wasn't what I wanted to do. I want to have energy. I wanted to do something. I just got in my brain feeling like, hey, no one else wants to do anything. Steven's on calls all day, so I'm gonna do nothing. And the rain is the reason. Here's what I think would have happened if I had stayed in that same mind frame of I wanna do something, but I'm not going to. I do think I would have gotten a little depressed about it. I do think that I would have tried to fill some of my boredom up with food. I do do that. And honestly, I think it would have kept making me tired. The things that I'm doing for my lifestyle change, I shouldn't let a rainy day get in the way. So with 20 minutes before the buses to arrive and I have to walk about 10 of them, I decided pop on those shoes, buy a bus pass, get your ass outside and then decide where to go. I don't know where I'm going. I know I need to take a bus to another bus stop where I'll have plenty of choices. And on that bus ride, I will get about 15 minutes to decide, which gives me enough time to Google what I need to do. I do hate filming myself outside, but you know what? I wanna be a travel vlogger when we're living on a boat. I need to get used to this. And I need to get used to making entertainment for myself after my chores are done, after I've checked with everyone that no one wants to join me. Steven can't, but I count, I count the pets as no one as well. Oh, and see, I recorded so much. Thankfully, I had enough wherewithal to remember batteries, which I need to change out because I wasted all my batteries this morning recording stuff that you guys aren't gonna see because it was dumb. This one might be dumb too, but we'll, I'll try and make it better. I have decided I want to go to the Marine Life Center in Bellingham. It says it's free. It says it's open. Uh, it does look a little geared to uh, more children's activities. I'm okay with that. I like marine life. I, I don't mind seeing some marine life. I don't, it's not an aquarium, but it's something interesting that will get me out and I'll get to see something I don't get to see every day. 
Uh, I also need to find Steven a birthday present and he's very hard to buy for. And I am going to be a bit downtown, so maybe I can look around and find something but not show you guys. So if I do find a birthday present, I probably won't be able to show you guys since he does watch my videos like a supportive partner does. I'm also thinking about doing one more thing and I don't know if I'm gonna do it. But if I do, it'll be in this vlog. If I don't, I will edit it out. All right, so on to the Marine Center. Oh, okay, I found it. I thought I was gonna be very lost, but it was very like get off the bus and walk straight. Even though Google Maps wanted me to do a whole bunch of stuff. It's right there. So let's see what they've got. Everything looks better when I'm looking through this colored lens. Life's too hard and the world don't make no sense. I'm putting my glasses on. All of my troubles are was geared more towards you know uh, children but I still enjoyed it I got to see some eels I got to see uh, some really cool sea life that I usually look for when I'm out kayaking I also got to learn that they have an octopus that they are rehabilitating and they closed it off because people they wanted to give the octopus time alone before releasing it back out um, it was caught by a fisherman's boat it got a little bit damaged so they had to rehabilitate it and and now it's going back out into the wilderness which <laughs> that was really fun to learn I real I really feel happy knowing that humans do good in the world you know we try our best a lot of the times there's also a great view my boat is out here like really close I might go check on it <laughs> just because I like to I know that there's a great walking path around here so I might take a little walk depending on time the rain is clearing up, so it would be perfect. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling a lot more invigorated. That, that was pretty cool. It's free and open to the public, and it was just something nice to get my brain, my brain working in a way, not doing the same thing it always does. And anytime you can kind of reevaluate and go, oh my gosh, how different there is, like all the creatures in this world and see it with your own eyes, it really kind of helps with perspective. So <laughs> I'm gonna take a little lap. And then I think I am going to go downtown, if not for trying to find a lipstick shade, um, maybe a birthday gift for Steven, and maybe the other thing that I wanted. If not, we'll do that tomorrow. has started raining heavier. It's been a light sprinkling all day, but it is getting a little bit more. So I kind of timed this perfectly. I am on the road home. I looked around, I couldn't find anything. I found a lot of stores that interest me, but nothing that, Steven's not a knickknack kind of guy. All of his outdoor activities, we already have all the gear for. So he's a little trickier. Me, uh, I saw like five stores that I could have bought half the store. <laughs> so uh, I did get a little sidetracked. Uh, the two things that I was looking for for myself, I couldn't find, so tomorrow. That being said, I'll end the video here, I think, because I'm not very hungry. It is already three o'clock, and I usually eat around like this time, 
and I have about 450 calories left. I'm at 81 grams of protein. There's a good chance that I'm just gonna eat like some apples and peanut butter to get in more protein and calories as a snack, but I don't foresee me actually making a big dinner because I'm not hungry. And I'm gonna attribute that to me getting out, being active, and I didn't sit around all day pacing back and forth going, I'm bored, I'm tired, maybe I'll nap and wake up and eat. That's kind of what I would do, so. Instead, I spent some time outdoors, saw some things that I normally wouldn't. I think <laughs> I think soaking wet and in the rain is gonna be the perfect way to end this video, uh, cause you know, I got out here and even this rain is pretty refreshing and fun. It is getting my camera wet, so I'm gonna say goodbye now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. You are still here.